Hey guys, this is Gaijin Hunter. To take my mind off the stress of all the fact that there is a huge back catalog of videos that I want to make for you guys, I thought I would try something different and new, which is a quiz. So this is going to be a series of 15 fun trivial questions to see how well you know Miles Hunter Rise and have paid attention to the world and the surroundings around you. So um, I'm not going to have any scores. I'm not going to tell you you're good or you're bad. Um, it's just a fun little exercise to see how many you can get right. Disclaimer, if you're one of the few thousand that saw this video when I first uploaded it, I actually had like two or three really stupid dumb mistakes because it's late at night and I decided that it wasn't worth to keep those in. So this is a re-upload and my apologies and thank you for watching a second time. Without further ado, let's jump in. Question 1. A puppet spider is not found on which map? The flooded forest, shrine ruins, sandy plains, or lava caverns? The answer is the Sandy Plains. Unfortunately, there is not a puppet spider on this map, so you can stop looking for it if you're still trying to find it. Question two, what exists at a main camp, but not at the sub camp? The item box, supply box, canteen, or weapon box? And the answer is the supply box. Not only can you not pick up items that the guild has given you, you also cannot deliver eggs and other things like that. You do have to use the main camp. Question 3. What is the gender of the wire bugs you use for silkbind attacks? Male, female, both, or unknown? The answer is female. Don't mess with a female insect. These things are incredibly durable. It is the males that are the large ones that will just sit there and act as sort of like shortcut paths for you, which are the great wire bugs. Question four. What is the name of the mechanical frog in the training room? Mectronodon, training frog, target dummy, toadversary. And the answer is Toadversary. This is an official name that's in the game. I think it's hilarious and adorable. Uh, but so now you know what to call it if you didn't know. Question five. Which has the highest chance of giving a purple orb for Magdamalo? Capture it, slay it, break its back, or break its arms? And the answer here is Capture. Uh, you will get a 3% chance. Of course, you also can get a chance from breaking its head and also just from its target rewards and also from carving its tail. Question 6. What color is the frame of the monster icon in a rampage for a ruffian monster? Bronze, silver, gold, or rainbow colored? The answer is silver. If you see a monster with an icon on the upper right that has a silver frame, kill it for extra points, which will level up your stronghold. Question 7. Which weapon does Minoto use? Bow, lance, gun lance, or longsword? Minoto best girl. <laughs> and the answer is lance. Uh, Hinoa uses a bow and Minoto uses a lance, and you can see this if you summon them during a rampage. Make sure to check it out if you haven't already. Question 8. Which weapon did Ayame main, and which weapon is she going to start using? Dual blades and bow, sword and shield and heavy bow gun, great sword and light bow gun, or hammer and long sword? The answer is C, great sword and light bow gun. So she liked heavy weapons like the great sword, but ever since she had her injury, she's not going to be switching to light bow gun. So it being a crutch is kind of now like canon, <laughs> if you think about it. Question 9, which map do you send the Meowncenaries in order to get Bumble Pumpkins? The Shrine Ruins, Frost Islands, Flooded Forest, or the Sandy Plains? The answer is the Flooded Forest. You're going to want to send them when they have that little sparkle over the collection icon. And if you do this in high rank, I believe you get the Omega Pumpkins. Question 10. 
if you do the call gesture in front of the Quetzalcobra, what does it do? Heal you, spin around, hiss at you, or disappear? And the answer is heal you. The Quetzal Cobra is actually, I'm going to butcher that name. It's actually a very interesting uh, monster in which people kind of worshipped way back in the day, apparently. And if you do go up to it and you call, it will heal you. Question 11. How many battle maps are there in version 3.0? Six, seven, eight, or nine maps? Try not to forget any. And the answer is nine. A lot of people, I think, would probably uh, accidentally forget to count the arena. Uh, and there is a special map which you unlock if you clear all the high rank quests, so make sure to go for all the HR7 quests if you haven't unlocked it already. Question 12. When a Somnicanth sings, which song does it sing? Its theme, the map theme, proof of a hero, or the theme for Kamuda Village? And the answer is the map theme of the map that it's in. So it might appear in different maps, and if you listen closely, it'll sing part of the main rhythm for that map's BGM, which is really cool. Question 13. Where was Yomogi born? Kamuda, Yukumo, Cathar, or somewhere else? And the answer is other. Now, Fugen and the two twins actually do know the location, but she was brought to the village when she was just a baby by a mysterious Wyvarian who then disappeared. Uh, Yomogi isn't aware of this, but there are some rumors and hints in the game that for some reason kind of suggests that she may come from the Kingdom of Nobility uh, where Rondin is from, but we actually don't know. Will they explore this in any future expansion? We'll have to wait and see. Question 14, which villager has a crush and is in love with Hinoa? Nakago the Blacksmith, Mihaba the Apprentice, Novice Hunter Taishi, or Senior Hunter Hanenaga. The answer is Mihaba the Apprentice. This is the NPC that's to the right of Hammond the Blacksmith, and there is just a bunch of hilarious dialogue of him gushing in love over Hinoa, but he's of course too much of a wimp to go up and let her know his true feelings. In question 15, which element is Crimson Glow Falstrax weakest to when it's engulfed in red flames? All five elements, dragon element, water element, or none of them? And the answer is none. Now, they don't actually show this in the Hunter Notes. Um, when it's not enraged and not engulfed in flames, it's actually quite weak to all the elements except for dragon. But just like its armor, once it becomes engulfed in those flames and it gets its Dragon Blight, it is no longer going to take any elemental damage. So bringing in a non-elemental weapon to this fight is actually pretty much recommended. Anyways, that concludes my fun little quiz. Maybe I'll do more of them if you guys enjoyed it. I thought this would be a fun way to sort of teach you a little bit about some of the things that you may not know about the game, but do it in a way that's kind of fun. Let me know down in the comments below if you enjoyed it and you want to see a part 2. Let me know how many you got right, if you got all of them right. Uh, and yeah, just general feedback would be nice. Hopefully I will stop playing. I'm so addicted. I'm playing it for hours and hours every day. Uh, but if I can finally get off of it for a little bit, I do plan on making a ton of videos because I'm in love with the game. I'm over like 550 hours already. Anyways, hope you guys are staying safe and healthy. And until next time, happy hunting.